what's up what's up what's up what's up my good people folks i'm back out here i'm back out here trying to get on them and gonna see what i can do today folks i'm out here on the river channel um that runs into lake houston and um looking to try to get on some fish folks i know that i know that there's some good crappie out here in this area so my plan is to track them down and put them in the boat folks um i got till about three o'clock i'm getting a late start it's almost what, almost 11 a.m uh this morning but nonetheless folks i'm out here i'm out here and i'm gonna give it a shot see what i can do so folks hey greatly appreciate y'all checking out the video greatly appreciate y'all for all the likes the comments and the subscriptions folks hey please do me a favor and keep them coming for me and if you want to be notified about videos that i'm going to drop in the future hit that notification bell below so you can be in the know folks hey once again greatly appreciate y'all and i see y'all when i get on these fish let's get it all right people at another spot see some good fish on this pile though only thing is uh there is a gigantic catfish down there with them and usually they don't stick around long when those catfish are in that pile and they are not very active when those big old predator fish are around this pile is absolutely loaded with fish though so we're gonna try our luck the fish starting up here at the top let's see if we can get one yes we can good crappie too folks he is hooked right in that top lip get on in the boat get on in the boat good old 11 inch fish y'all just a good 11 nothing wrong with that going in the box that's an awesome sign when you pull up to a spot and as soon as you drop down you get hit to make sure I'm not drifting away from them. I mean, there's a gang of them right here, y'all. I just went for the ones that was up at the top first. I mean, a bunch of bait fish over here. Don't want to stir them up too much. I'm trying to be a little bit selective. where possible. Ten feet of water is uh, where I'm fishing right now, folks. There's another one. Little dude, though. That is not the size I thought he was gonna be. Looking at the image. Well, dude, these fish look a lot bigger on the on the live scope. <clears throat> See if we can get us a bigger one. Nope, another small one, y'all. These are just some nine-inch fish. In some states, these are legal, but not in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, y'all. The land, the vehicles, we love our trucks and SUVs. Let's get down there and get us another one, y'all. They all right here. They are here. Uh, uh, uh. Got him, that's a good one. There we go, that's a good keeper. Come on over here, buddy. I don't know if you hooked, yeah, 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 yeah. You could have got flipped. You could have got flipped, y'all. That's just another solid, thick 11. I mean, thick. Look at the back on them, y'all. <laughs> That's a thick fish right there. They starting to thicken up. They transitioning, y'all, from that, from that summer to the fall patterns, which also brings thicker fish. I mean, look at all those fish, guys. I'm gonna get the active captain rolling for y'all so y'all can see what this pile is looking like. There we go. All right, folks, we are recording. Now, doing that for y'all may have caused me to lose these, lose this pile again. 
It did. I drifted right off of it. Now I gotta get back up there. Hope y'all happy though. Y'all should get to see. Y'all should definitely get to see <clears throat> what these fish are looking like now. Or what this pile is looking like. Guys, I just gotta find it. We coming up on it. A little bit to the right. Guys, they're they're over here on this side. I can't struggling to get right over here right now. So for the sake of just seeing if I can get one to react. Yep, we got them. Another good one, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Get on over here. Get in the boat, crappie. Let's go. Another 11, folks. I mean, that's all that's sitting there is good, thick, healthy, 11 inch fish. I'm never mad about these going in the box. All right, folks, we ain't doing too bad. We got 10 fish in the box. Got him. Oh yeah, good fish, folks. Good fish. Real good fish. Get over here. Yep, he's hooked in the side of the mouth, but I think, I mean, hey, regardless, folks, this is probably the biggest one of the day. Slab crappie, y'all. Biggest one of the day. There we go. It's a good 12. <laughs> I ain't mad at him. Good fish, thick back, going in the box. I mean, I know y'all see this. This is really rapid fire, y'all. I am not, I mean, there's not gonna have to be a lot of editing done to this video just because of how quick I'm catching these fish. Good fish right here. Ooh, he got scared. I dropped on him too fast, folks. Like in that last video, I talked about approach being everything. Man, that is the truth. Got him. Another good one, folks. Yes, it is. Oh, man. That's a slab, y'all, that's a slab. Oh, this is the biggest of the day. This is for sure the biggest of the day, y'all. No doubt. That last one I thought was the big. <laughs> this one is topping that. This is a 14 inch fish right here for sure. Oh man, we, we caught in the net. I'm gonna cut it, I ain't got time for this. Y'all, this is the biggest fish of the day right there. That's a solid 14 inch crappie, at least 14. Folks, that's a, that's a slab right there. I'll take that. Going in the box. Much better fish. Y'all look at those. Look at those right here in that four foot range. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yes, I told y'all that they were better fish. And he is hooked in the top lip. We're gonna flip him. Y'all, look at that. 
boat flipping slabs. That's a slab. That's another 13, 14 right there, y'all. Oh, man. Y'all, this is a hog. Absolute hog. Oh, and that thing came out too. Calm down, buddy. Calm down, buddy. I got you. I got you, fam. Look at that. Just another good 13, at least 13. Nice fish, folks. Going in the box. Now, I think I had a crappie nibble on that one, didn't I? I believe so. Because I believe I did, I think I did. So I'm gonna put another one. Y'all, I see some more good fish down there. We gonna try to go get them. We gonna try to go get them. Trying to see where that big one went. I mean, that was a big old joker. He's up in here somewhere. I'm trying to get eyes on him. That was a good crappie. That was the one I wanted. That smaller guy came and there he goes. There he goes. I see you, buddy. Couple of them. All right, folks. Nice little school of fish right here, actually. But I see the bigger one down here. This is the one I really want. But I'm not sure if he wants to play. That one did. That's another good one. Yeah, it is. Get in the boat. Another good one, folks. I mean, these are slabs right here. These are slabs. At first, I was catching the 11s. And now the slabs want to play. I'll take them all day. No intention to rhyme right there, y'all. I'm just a natural rhymer. I really am. I'm good like that. Should have been a poet. There we go. Just a good 12, y'all. Going in the box. Here we go. Good one right up in here. Got him too. Yes, sir. Slab. Boat flip the slab. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> slab crappie, man. That's what I'm after, folks. Another 13 inch plus fish going in the box. y'all 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 telling you folks so i love coming out here to this river i mean this is fairly new to me but it has been true to me you can barely see them in there barely visible but i see you see if i can get you to bite Yes, I did. Come on up out of there, bud. Oh, yeah. Another good crappie. Look at this, y'all. I'm boat flipping slabs today. <laughs> oh, I ain't playing around with them today, y'all. That's another good 14. Another good 14. Look at that. Just a slab, y'all. I mean, he ain't as tall and broad, but that's a good fish. He'll make the box. Folks, well, 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 I have made it back to the dock and boy, 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 I told y'all that I was going to get on these fish today. I told y'all I got on them today. Let me let y'all get a shot of what they looking like. Folks, y'all check this out. There they go. There they go. Slabs. Slabs, y'all. I know y'all see that. 
see them fish, man? 25 of them. Straight like that. Good fish too, y'all. I mean, folks, just good quality fish that I'm about to go enjoy with my family. So folks, hey, once again, per usual, man, I greatly appreciate y'all for checking out the video. And if you wanna be notified about future videos like this, go ahead and smash that notification bell down below. And if you love crappie fishing, crappie catching in particular, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, folks. I promise you, you won't regret it. Hey, once again, greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. What's up, folks? Hey, welcome back to the channel, Fishing by the Numbers. It's your boy, Will. Guys, I know y'all can see the sweat on my face because, you know, it's it's a hot day. It was a very hot day. And uh, me and my boy, D. Frazier from Houston Fishing Team decided to get out here today and try to get on some crappie, folks. And uh, let me tell you, very rough day for me toward the end of the day um, in terms of catching keeper crappie, but I caught, I don't know, man, 60, 70 crappie total but I mean, it was just tough, really tough to get on some keepers. But folks, hey, it was it was a good day overall. He got a limit, I got a limit. Um, but once again, hey, greatly appreciate y'all checking out the video. Y'all enjoy this content and I'll see y'all after. That's a good one. There he goes, folks. About a 12 plus going in the box. another one yeah hey come over here man yes sir there it is another good one Hey, there's some hogs right here, man. It's a few of them. They might hit that minnow a little bit better too. I mean, it's, it's a few of them. Right in front, right in front of me. Just right in front of me. Right here. Can you see them? Yikes. Oh no. You're about to get right over them. Ooh. A 
big old bass? I hope this is what it is. Nah, that ain't no gator. It's just a gator, it's a little one. Oh yeah. It's a good keeper. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go in the box for that. Yeah, I see. I think I see what you're looking at. I think that's a catfish, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not, drop that down there on that catfish. <laughs> about to have a heck of a fight. Got him. Yeah, he keeper. He keeper. Eleven. Just uh, eleven? Nothing wrong with that. Going in the box. Just a 10, probably 10 and a half. Yeah, he looks 10 and a half. He'll make the box. He'll fry up real nice. He'll probably fry up today. Man, you know, I like to keep them big old fillets to bake. That big old 16 inch crappie I got, he gonna get, he gonna get baked or he gonna hit the grill, one or the other. Man, bro. Like, I've caught 15 inch crappie, but bro, the, the head on that crappie, the body on that crappie, bro, that was that was the biggest crappie I'd ever seen. Then if you ever get that bait down there by that British flag, they they all like that really? down there. Bro, that I, thing, I like he like had that. such a big head. Like, when he broke the water and I saw him, I was like, oh my God. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I think we both are targeting the same fish. Yeah. I said we both targeting the same fish. Yeah. yeah. You about to hit. Is he on there? Looks like he grabbed it. Saw them too. Ah, uh, he's a ten. I don't know if I want him to get in though. He just look real thin. Let's just see. If you push an eleven, you might make it. You ain't make it, man. You ain't make it, man. Hey, me and D. Frazier doubled up. Doubled up. Except his is a keeper and mine is maybe a little too small. Yeah, I'm gonna let him get back. 
Man, hey, check it out. Today was a pretty good day. An exhausting day for me. A great day for my boy D. Frazier. But hey, we both got on some really good fish. We both got really nice boxes of fish. Let me let y'all take a look at what mine is looking like real quick. There we go. Look at that, y'all. Very nice fish. I mean, plenty of nice fish. I kept a couple that were right around that 10, 10 and a half, as y'all see throughout the video. Um, but majority of these fish are definitely slabs, 11, and a, 11 plus, 12 plus. I got a 13, 14, and a 15. I got a 15 inch crappie in there too that just blew my mind, folks. Blew my mind. But hey, my boy D. Frazier. Yep, that's him. Yo, Red D. Yeah, Red D. Hey, here's what he got, y'all. Check out his box. 25 limit. 330. Tell him again. 330 limit. 330 limit. Hey, if y'all don't know, this the minnow man right here. But yeah, today, but today, at the end of the day, when he ran out of minnows, this dude did something I don't think I really seen him do much of, and that's catch some nice crappie on jigs. All right. In case y'all was wondering, it was that it was that magic bait. Yeah, there's a magic that, bait. That magic bait does it does wonders, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Hey folks. Great day, like I said, exhausting for me, but hey, I greatly appreciate y'all checking out the video. Y'all stay tuned, keep it locked right here for future content, folks. Hit that bell down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my boy D. Frazier at Houston Fishing Team if y'all haven't already. Folks, once again, greatly appreciate y'all, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. What's up, folks? Hey, welcome back to the channel, Fishing by the Numbers. It's your boy, Will. Guys, guess what? Back at the house, and I got the stove going. Look at that, I got some mac and cheese right there boiling. Got my peanut oil right there. Got some good old crappie and catfish. Got my Louisiana fish fry. And today folks, I'm venturing out. Venturing out just a little bit, just a little bit. I got backbones in a row, y'all, check it out. Yep, backbones and row. I'm a little nervous about the eggs, I'm not gonna lie to you. The backbones, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be good. But all I'm gonna do is batter them both up and fry them up in this peanut oil and see how they taste. I mean, they can't be bad, right? Right? Hey, y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all think this is gonna taste. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started so y'all stick with me. We're gonna start off with these backbones right here. Left a little bit of extra meat on the bone there so I can make sure I have something to eat off of it. So go ahead and throw that in there. And I think we might have to do one at a time just to get them nicely coated. Because I don't have a very big bowl. Got this little small bowl. This will be our test subject, so let's shake that up. Shake, shake, shake. And guys, I don't, I don't necessarily like to put a paper towel on my fillets or the backbones or pretty much anything like that if I'm gonna be dropping it in some sort of uh, dry batter uh, or fish fry. Um, just so it sticks a little bit better. Check that out. Now just shake off the excess. We'll just drop that right into the grease. Now these backbones, they don't have a ton of meat on them, so they won't have to stay in there too long. Get that one a little shake action too. that out got a good shallow fry going right there y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that all right got that turn got this one coated pretty good Look at that. Y'all, y'all can tell that backbone right there was from a slab crappie. Look at that. Big old fish, too. Going in the grease. All 
All right, folks, I'm gonna let these continue to roll and I'll see y'all when I pull these out the grease. All right, folks, so I got all of my backbones fried up, seasoned up, looking pretty good, actually. I mean, that's what they looking like. I'm pretty excited to, to dig into those. But before I get to that, one thing that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and cook up these eggs, these fish eggs. Now, these are some, this is something I've never had before. Um, and I know they're pretty delicate. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna come out. I really don't know. I've never had it before. So, but that's how it looks. There's one of them. I'm gonna just put it in the batter gently. I'm not gonna shake it. Let's just try to get it coated. All right. Shake it off a little bit. Yeah, all right, that's one. Oh, look at this, y'all. That's a big juicy one. Oh, that's a big juicy one right there. Let's go ahead and get that one in. Same deal. All right. I'm just gently turning it in this batter. I don't want to pop the sacks. Last one, folks. That's what they look like with the batter on them. All of my little egg sacs. Here we go. Ooh. I'm nervous. I hope they don't pop. There's the last one. There. Have y'all had fish eggs before? Have y'all had roll before? If y'all had it, let me know in the comment section if you've had it. And let me know if you think it's good. And let me know if you think I'm doing it right. Maybe I'm not. I didn't do any research before I started making this. But hey, living you learn, right? We about to learn today. All right, so I think this one is done. I think. I mean, it looks pretty golden brown to me. It may all be done, honestly. Out. Had them in there about three minutes, roughly. There's that big juicy one right there. All right, folks, so we'll set these to the side, give them a chance to cool off. Time, I'll go ahead and get rolling with the actual fish itself. So maybe I won't fry too much. I got a good, good number of fillets over here, but got a mixture of catfish and crappie, as y'all can see on the bag. That's how I do all my fish, y'all. I like to vacuum seal it up, keep it nice and fresh for as long as possible. Again, I'm gonna continue with the Louisiana fish fry. Here's what remains of that, and I'm gonna probably fry up about seven or eight fillets. Open. All right. Prior to me putting this fish in the bag, y'all, I rinsed it pretty good. We're going to start off with the catfish fillets because they are at the top of the bag. And we'll fry about three at a time. All right, got it sealed up. Give it a good old shake. It's got enough moisture on it, I believe, so I think it should stick pretty good. Alright. 
Got those all nicely coated. Pretty evenly coated, I suppose. Go ahead and get that in the grease. Shake off the excess, get those in the grease. cooking with hot grease. So we'll give that a chance to cook. Catfish fillets, I usually like to let those fry for about five minutes or so. Again, I'm in a shallow pan, so I will be turning these fillets over after about two to three minutes or something like that. So folks, stick around and stay tuned and I'll see y'all when these come out of the grease. Alright folks, well, I have sat down at the table to enjoy the fruits of my labor. The hard hours that I spent on the water catching this fish, the hours I spent cleaning this fish, and just recently the hours I spent cooking it. So, folks, let me uh, fix my plate. Me and my wife are about to sit down here and have us a nice meal. So couple of things we're gonna try for the first time folks like I said I'm trying that row never tried that and then the backbones I've eaten fish whole fish before fish on the bone before so I've never just isolated the backbone of a fish this is gonna be the first time I've done that but nonetheless still fish I'm sure it's gonna be good so folks let me get this plate together and I will see y'all at the table for a taste test all right folks now Got to give y'all a quick rundown of what's on this plate. So number one, we got some white bass right here. White bass is actually very good as long as you clean it properly. Cut out that red meat and it is a very clean tasting fish. Crappie fillets, which is definitely one of my favorites. Some catfish fillets, crappie backbones, and our roe, our fish eggs, y'all. Fish eggs. First time I'm about to try these, so we'll see how it's gonna go. So, I think what I'm gonna start off with, y'all, is the fish eggs, just to get it out the way. So, I'm, like I said, I've never had this before. So let's take a bite, see what it's tasting like. That's what it looks like on the inside. I can see that very well. Hmm. Don't really taste like. I mean, it's got a little fishy taste to it. A little bit grainy. It's not bad. Pleasantly surprised, y'all. It's actually not bad. It kind of tastes a lot like the batter. So, it don't really taste that bad. Would I eat it again? Maybe. But it's not bad, y'all. Pretty good stuff. Next, go ahead and move on to this, to this crappie. I love this crappie. Everybody loves crappie, right? If you don't love it, it's because you ain't had it before and you don't know any better. Bless your heart. Get some crappie. Go ahead and grab one of these backbones. One of these backbones. Look, this one was from the slab. I ain't a whole lot of meat on there either, y'all. So next time I do these, I'm gonna try to leave just a little more meat on the filet. And then of course, I'm gonna have one of these catfish filets. Cause who don't like catfish, right? Catfish filet. So that's what my plate is looking like, y'all. Got this white cheddar mac and cheese. Um, you know, that mac and cheese was made from scratch in somebody's factory, not my kitchen. But the fish, uh, well, God made that, I just caught it. So folks, I'm about to dig in. So let's see, how to, let's see what it's tasting like.
First, I'm gonna start off with a little, start off with a little bite of the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese ain't bad. Like I said, it was made from scratch in somebody's factory. Um, that is just, it's decent. Tastes a little bit better than Kraft, honestly. It's the Cracker Barrel um, mac and cheese, the white cheddar cheese mac and cheese. So now this is that crappie, folks, as y'all can see, nice, delicate, nice, delicate, flaky meat. This stuff is always, folks, so let's go ahead and get a bite. Mm. Some good stuff right here. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all really love that Louisiana fish fry. They do a really good job with it. It's pre season. The blue one is seasoned. That's the one I usually roll with. It's really good, folks. I can't complain. Next thing I want to try for y'all is this backbone. Look at that. Y'all can see that. So I know there's bones right along here. So if I pull this out, there should be some bones that come out with it. There they go. I didn't take them all out. There's still bones in there, but you should get those ones off the top when you take that first bite. So let's taste it. Mm. Okay. This is pretty good too, folks. Not a whole lot of meat on here, but there's still meat on here that goes to waste if you don't harvest the backbones. It's not bad, folks. Not bad. Like I said, I wish there was just a little more meat Still, it's pretty good. Well, folks, I know y'all hear that rain in the background, and I'm not about to make y'all watch me eat the rest of this food. So I'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of this meal. As always, folks, I greatly appreciate y'all for watching the videos. Greatly appreciate all the likes, the subscriptions, all the comments, guys. Hey, all of that is what keeps me motivated to get out on the water and produce these videos. So Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, keep tuning in and I'll keep making them. Folks, once again, greatly appreciate y'all and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.